This one is a 1956 Underwood Universal. Color is baby blue. I'm gonna show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. The margins are behind the carriage here and you can just push them in like that and move them. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin and you put this line space, get you back to the beginning and skips one, two or three spaces. Right now we're on single, but if you want double or triple, you just flip that switch down and it'll skip double or triple spaces. We're gonna keep it on single for now and go on to the next line. I was able to type all of the keys on one line because this has elite typeface, which prints 12 characters per inch just a bit smaller than your average 10 characters per inch. I'm gonna type a sentence on the next line. Very nice typing machine. This is almost in excellent condition. It works almost like it's brand new. The font is unique. It has, looks like fraction font and it's not, it doesn't have all your typical characters, like a backslash or a forward slash. Uh, and when you type the numbers in shift, they are like a bottom fraction type of font. So I'm not sure what the name of the font is, but the shift when you shift the numbers, they're just smaller and it looks like they are on the bottom portion of a fraction. To pull the paper out easy, you just flip this switch forward on the right side and it'll pull out. What that does is it unlocks the rollers underneath the plat and allows you to pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper by carbon copy or cardstock. <coughs> It's got a backspace on the top left here. That works good. The tab function has a negative on this side, on my left side, and a positive. So if you hit the positive, it'll set a tab anywhere on the platen, and then you just hit the tab button, and it'll stop at that tab that you set. And to clear it, you just hit this negative. And that <clears throat> now it goes all the way to the end because there's no tab set, and you can set as many as you want. Um, this is your, on this right side here, this is your margin release. So you get to the end of the margin and there's a mechanism that will stop you from typing. And if you hit the margin release, it will allow you to type past that margin and finish the word at the end. <coughs> shift on each side and a shift lock on the left. To clear that, you just hit the shift again. To pop the hood, you just press this button. It says Underwood Golden Touch. And it's got the spools in here and a touch control right there. Uh, if you flip that up, I don't know if you can see that. If you flip that up, it just increases the tension on the keys. Um, so you just gotta hit the keys harder, the higher, the higher the tension. And this is your ribbon direction control. Uh, right now, all the brand new ribbon is on the left side here. So it's pulling to the right. Now it's pulling to the left because I switched it, but if you wanted to pull to the right, you just flip that switch to the right and it'll start pulling counterclockwise to the right. <clears throat> and that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy, search Brooksaw Antiques.